The interactions between SpaceX and the FAA over the approval of Starship launches have been tense, especially when it comes to getting licenses for these ambitious missions. SpaceX has often found itself waiting longer than it would like due to the FAA's review process. For the first orbital flight test of Starship on April 20, 2023, SpaceX faced significant delays. After the launch ended in a failure, the FAA conducted an in-depth investigation that resulted in 63 corrective actions that SpaceX needed to address before it could move forward with any more flights. This investigation added months to the timeline as SpaceX worked to meet the FAA's requirements. The process for obtaining a license for the first orbital flight took more than a year. This was partly because of the FAA's need to coordinate with other agencies, like the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, to ensure the launches wouldn't harm the environment around the Boca Chica site in Texas, an area with ecological importance. For subsequent flights, the waiting periods for approvals have shortened, but challenges remain. For example, the second test flight also faced delays until SpaceX could demonstrate that it had resolved the issues identified in the first flight. The FAA did eventually grant the necessary license, but only after SpaceX showed significant progress in addressing the safety concerns. By the time of the fourth flight, the FAA had made the process a bit smoother by allowing for some flexibility in future launches, provided similar problems don't occur again. This was a small but important step in improving the relationship between SpaceX and the FAA, although the regulatory body continues to keep a close watch on each launch. Now, as we look ahead to the fifth flight test of SpaceX's Starship, the FAA has finally started evaluating the proposed changes to SpaceX's license for Starship Flight 5. They are reviewing key new aspects, such as SpaceX's plan to reignite the engine in space and catch the Super Heavy booster with the Mechazilla arm. These new steps are crucial milestones but come with increased risks. As SpaceX prepares for the fifth flight test of Starship, there's a lot happening both in terms of the FAA review and the physical preparations at Starbase. SpaceX is pushing ahead with crucial preparations to ensure everything is ready once approval is granted. For the fifth flight of SpaceX's Starship, the company plans to attempt a highly ambitious maneuver, catching the Super Heavy booster with the Mechazilla Tower Arms. This has never been attempted before, and it presents significant challenges. Unlike landing on a drone ship, where the booster simply touches down, catching it mid-air requires extreme precision. The Mechazilla arms must perfectly time their movement to grip the booster as it returns from space, using its grid fins to guide the descent. This method is far more complex than previous landing attempts because it eliminates the need for landing legs, which reduces weight and allows for immediate repositioning of the booster onto the launch mount, enabling rapid reusability. The decision to move forward with this catch attempt is backed by the success of previous soft ocean landings during Flight 4, which gave SpaceX the confidence to try this daring technique. During Flight 4, they virtually tested the timing and movements required for the tower catch, and the positive results from those simulations were encouraging. SpaceX has conducted extensive testing on the tower arms, practicing the catch maneuver with mock booster segments to ensure everything functions correctly. These tests involved moving the arms in different configurations and practicing the capture at various speeds and angles. The upcoming flight will be a critical test of these systems and could mark a major step forward in SpaceX's goal of achieving rapid and fully reusable launch vehicles. The Starship's fifth flight will also focus on demonstrating in-orbit refueling capabilities. This involves reigniting the Raptor engines in space, a critical step for longer missions like those planned for the Moon or Mars. Successfully refueling in orbit would be a game-changer, significantly extending the operational range of the Starship and reducing the cost of transporting cargo and crew to deep space. Meanwhile, the hardware for the flight is being rigorously tested. Booster 12, which will be used in this flight, has already undergone static fire tests and several checks on its grid fins and other key components. 
These tests are designed to ensure the booster is fully functional and ready for the complex task of launching, returning, and potentially being caught by the tower arms. Additionally, SpaceX has been upgrading its launch infrastructure at Starbase. This includes enhancements to the launch towers and the installation of new equipment designed to support a higher cadence of Starship launches in the future. These infrastructure upgrades are part of SpaceX's broader plan to eventually ramp up to 25 Starship launches per year. If you've made it this far into the video, we've got a special surprise for you. We're offering the most realistic Starship models exclusively to our most loyal viewers and at the most affordable price. If you're still watching, it means you're truly one of our dedicated fans. So go ahead and grab your Starship model. These aren't just any models, they even include the tank farm to make them look incredibly realistic, just like the actual Starship launch site. The link is right in the description below. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. While SpaceX is making strides with the Starship program, they're also stepping in to fix significant issues elsewhere in the space industry. Recently, it was confirmed that SpaceX will be tasked with rescuing astronauts from Boeing's troubled Starliner spacecraft. The Boeing Starliner was designed to be one of NASA's primary vehicles for ferrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station. However, the program has been plagued with issues from the start. During its first uncrewed test flight in 2019, software glitches caused the spacecraft to miss its intended orbit, forcing it to return to Earth early. Subsequent tests revealed additional problems such as the discovery of flammable tape inside the cabin during a later mission. These issues led to repeated delays, and when Starliner finally launched its first crewed mission in June 2024, what was supposed to be a routine flight turned into an extended mission due to concerns about the spacecraft's safety. NASA, prioritizing the safety of its astronauts, made the difficult decision to forego returning the crew on the Starliner. Instead, the agency opted to bring the astronauts back to Earth using SpaceX's reliable Crew Dragon spacecraft. This decision was seen as a significant blow to Boeing, as it marked a lack of confidence in their spacecraft. The Starliner will now return to Earth without its crew, allowing NASA and Boeing to conduct further testing. The rescue mission is scheduled for February 2025, when SpaceX's Crew Dragon will bring the stranded astronauts home as part of its Crew-9 mission. It's important to note that both SpaceX's Dragon and Boeing's Starliner were funded by NASA under the Commercial Crew Program. This program was established to develop safe and reliable human spaceflight capabilities to the International Space Station and to reduce reliance on Russian Soyuz rockets. In 2014, NASA awarded contracts to both companies, $4.2 billion to Boeing and $2.6 billion to SpaceX. The difference in funding amounts raised eyebrows from the start. Boeing, a long-standing partner with NASA, received significantly more funding than SpaceX, despite SpaceX's lower bid. The reasoning given at the time was that Boeing's proposal included more substantial infrastructure and system development requirements. However, in the years that followed, the Starliner program encountered numerous delays and technical issues, contrasting sharply with SpaceX's progress with the Crew Dragon, which successfully completed its first crewed mission in 2020. The numerous setbacks for Starliner have led to growing criticism of NASA's continued financial support of Boeing. Despite software glitches, mechanical failures, and missed deadlines, NASA has not canceled the Boeing contract. Critics argue that Boeing has failed to deliver a safe and operational spacecraft within the agreed timeline, and they question why NASA continues to back the company despite its repeated failures. This has led to accusations of favoritism, with some pointing to Boeing's deep connections within Washington, D.C., as a reason why the company has been able to maintain its contract. That's all for today, and we hope to see you again.